It's looking like fall. It looks like fall with a twist, though. Mm -hmm, a little does. different twist. Today, we're going to show you how you can make one of the most popular DIY projects in blog land. This word fine pumpkin got a huge response on Kari Unwood's Thistlewood Farms blog. And she says it's really easy to make. I like that last part, easy to make. So we welcome you back uh, to Talk of the Town. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here. Well, we're going to go ahead and start the project today with a chalkboard pumpkin. Okay. Now, you can paint your own chalkboard pumpkin at your house if you just have a pumpkin pumpkin laying around from last year's fall decor. Just simply purchase chalkboard paint from any craft store, two coats, mm -hmm. and then you're going to want to prime it with chalk after it's dry. But you said you made a great find yesterday. Yes, yesterday I found these pumpkins 60% off. Nothing is better than a 60% off chalkboard mm -hmm. pumpkin. <laughs> already painted with chalkboard paint. It was already painted. It nice. came just like this so with chalkboard easy. paint. Yes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and have Meryl start. Okay. To start the, and this is a great, great project if you have a fall party and you want a centerpiece, it's fun for the guests. Mm -hmm. So what you start doing is you take a, just a standard piece of chalk and you're going to make a geometric grid on the pumpkin. Okay. Now I've kind of already got you started there. And I'm going to start by breaking the chalk. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We have extra chalk. Okay, so good. No worries. So we're just doing little dots. Exactly. And you just finish, keep doing that until the entire pumpkin is covered with geometric, geometric dots. Okay. And this is where our letters are going to go? That is correct. Okay. We're kind of laying out a grid for our letters. Okay. Then the next step, and Leland, can you mm -hmm. help me out here? Yeah, I can do that. What we've done is the first step is you want to go ahead and plan out where you're putting your words. Okay. All That's right. very important because if you're going to spell happy fall, you want to make sure it measures out. Mm -hmm. So I've already got happy on there. So we're going to go ahead and stick fall. And if you'll put that. And again, the key thing on this is put the letters, put the words out first that you're spelling. That's correct. All righty. So there's your F. And then these are just standard stickers that mm -hmm. I got at a craft store. And I have on the chalkboard, the white pops up the best. Okay. Here's an L for you. All right. And again, I'm just putting them on the dots that I've already, like Meryl's putting on right now. So you could do like a Halloween one that says spooky and boo. That's, and or eek. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cute. <laughs> that'd be yeah. nice. Yeah. And you could also do it in like neon letters or, Cute. you know, orange letters. I just chose white because I like black and white. Okay. So there we go. Got happy fall on that one. And nice. then after you've finished and you've got your words, and I kind of hid all different words in mine, different yeah, fall okay. related words. And then after um, you finish with that, you just randomly fill in the rest of your spaces with stickers. Okay. So with like other letters. With, yeah, with okay. other letters. So here's a G. You can just kind of. Stick your G wherever it would go. So, about how many words do you have on the on the one that's completed? Um, I think a standard pumpkin about this size can hold about. There's a G for you. Okay. Um, can hold maybe about five to eight words, w maybe a little more depending on how creative you get. Okay. And I think it's a good idea if you go ahead and combine the words and have them cross over. You can mm -hmm. get a few more words. Okay. On there. All right. Cool. So while we're still doing this, if you will tell us what you're doing with the states. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I love the state pumpkin. Another kind of fun pumpkin idea, DIY pumpkin idea for fall, is to just take, and again, I got these 60% off at the craft store yesterday. I and I got them in white, and then I took the same chalkboard paint, and I ch cut these out. Just, this is a Kentucky, because mm -hmm. that's where you're from. Kentucky uh -huh. has my heart, and here's Tennessee. And what I did was I just traced the outline of the state in pencil on the pumpkin. And then I fill it in with chalkboard paint. Okay, brilliant. And then just for that final little touch that I thought would be fun, I put a star where I live, and I put a star um, for Nashville. Just a little star sticker. Exactly. Super simple, but mm -hmm. that's so cute. You could also start with, because it is chalkboard paint, so you could start with a piece of chalk, too. Okay. I love it. What great ideas, Karianne. I love it. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for being with us today. All right, for more projects and lots of good humor on Karianne's <laughs> blog, Thistlewood, farms.com.